Let's take a quick look at the new audit trail feature. Recall that with the basic search, you can quickly locate resources across your network. But if you want to see what user made changes to a resource, you'll want to search the audit log. Once enabled for your domain, you'll find the audit log search feature on the advanced search drop-down menu. Every user action taken in the Broadsun Control Administrator is carefully recorded and available for review. Even actions taken by way of our APIs are stored. Note that you can also search for activity carried out in Broadsign Direct, our sales tool tailor-made for out of home. Searching the audit log is easy. You enter any search criteria of interest, then select the date range of interest and launch the search. Thanks to careful optimization, the results show up promptly. Each action is timestamped and everything from the domain ID to the operation performed is presented, including, of course, the username and ID. As usual in control, you can add and remove columns of interest, resize them, and even change their order. Now let's take a look at the audit trail in action. I'm gonna upload some ad copy to a folder called Vintage Ad Copy. Dragging and dropping from the desktop, our improved transfer manager carries out the task of uploading the ads for safe storage on the server. Returning to the audit log, let's see what a log entry looks like when you upload ad copy. Double click any line item to open it up and see the details. Notice the username in the header area followed by the operation type. In the body, you can see the name of the ad copy and all the relevant data. Even if you have never used this kind of feature before, you will quickly become familiar with operation types and names, and zooming in on actions and operations of interest will soon be second nature. The audit log feature must be activated on your domain. It is available in Control 14 as part of the Broadsign Live package.